Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, whenever you are, wherever you are. Today we'll talk about some lecture which I delivered in few countries with one title, strange title, which called Without Shoes, Without Socks. This was delivered between 2011 uh, and 2013. 2011 I was in Benghazi about April and I took off my shoes and my socks in front of the workshop and everybody was shocked. Why should I take my shoes and my socks? Second was in Cairo with a lot of young, uh, young women from the Gulf and they have to take my shoes and my socks in front of all of them. The same thing again, to ask them what's going on with me. The third one was actually in the Manhur, near to Alexandria in Egypt and they took in front of a big crowd in a, a library called Mubarak Library uh, with about full of young people, uh, zealous, energetic after the Arab uh, Spring and why I uh, uh, took my shoes and my socks there and this actually, uh, it was shocking them. The last but not the least was actually in Jeddah in the Organization of Islamic uh, Cooperation in front of the senior staff of the humanitarian department. And also I took my shoes and I took my socks off. What that for? Uh, people's response was actually, you have a tight shoes, you have a nail in the shoes, uh, your, 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 your foot is sweating, uh, something is, is biting you, and, and all this sort of thing. I said, no, it's not that. If you look at the shoes and the socks, they are like barriers. Barriers. The shoes, the sole of the shoes is a barrier. The socks the, is another barrier. Whoever, like all of us, claim that they want to go and work with the community, to reach the most vulnerable, the most marginalized, they have to go deep down to the bottom of the society to feel the agony. If you walk in the middle of the snow with a shoe, with, with, with boots and socks and others, you will never feel the cold weather and you never have the frostbite from the cold itself. That's why don't make any barrier between anyone you claim to serve and they are living in a very appalling situation within Africa or Afghanistan or India or Bangladesh, any part of the world, Latin America and others, and be very close to feel their agony, to feel their suffering, to have their dreams with you and to be so close to them. The message here to all of us, brothers and sisters, young brothers and sisters, you cannot claim that you are a social and humanitarian worker unless, unless, unless you feel the agony of the people and you have become very close to the people. So without shoes and without socks was the opening for the discussion with the women from the Gulf, with the young people in, in uh, the Manhur, with the senior people in the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and with the people in Benghazi as well. Be close to the people and don't ignore them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.